Welcome everyone to Rift once again. We are here today to explore Sanctum, our big capital city, which is probably going to be at least a video's worth of quest to go through, I imagine. So I'm kind of just like, I'm going to go ahead and just start doing quests here and see where we end up. It's actually my first time in Sanctum proper, so it's all pretty much new to me. like I need to go upwards, I think. Oh, I think that's him over there. Welcome to the Rolls Tutorial. In this video, we will show you how Rolls add countless customization options to your okay, character. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to watch to this. Use this powerful feature. Rolls are defined sets of souls that can be swapped at any time as long as the character is out of combat. The ability to change roles on the fly means that your character can change from being a healer to a tank in a matter of seconds. Your character starts out with a single role. In order to get more, you will need to purchase them from your class trainers. Trainers can be found in major cities as well as some of the larger towns around the world. Upon talking to a trainer, the trainer UI will open. Select Purchase a New Role. As you purchase more roles, the price of each subsequent purchase increases. After a new role is purchased, you can access it via the Roles button in the Soul Tree UI. This displays a menu of your unlocked souls from which you can select which one to activate. Once the role is selected, press the Activate button. This will enable the role on your character. A newly purchased role is blank. When you activate it for the first time, you have the option of choosing a pre-made purpose or to create a custom one. Pick a purpose and then hit the Select button if you want one pre-made. To create a custom role, press Close. This will bring up the blank Soul Tree UI. The first step in creating a custom role is to select the souls you want to use. Click an empty soul slot to pick a soul from the Souls menu. Mousing over the icon will show detailed information about each soul and whether it is offensive, defensive, healing, or support. Fill the remaining empty soul slots. Choosing souls with similar designations make the role better suited to a task such as tanking or dealing damage. Once a soul is equipped in a slot, you have the option of using the auto-fill button to the left of the soul slot or spending points as you desire. Using auto-fill will spend the maximum amount of soul points in that soul. If you want to make modifications to a role, you can do so at a class trainer. Using the Reset My Souls option will refund all spent soul points and allow you to choose a pre-made purpose or swap out equipped souls. Alright. Feel free to experiment with different combinations until you find ones that Hopefully fit your this will style. pop the uh, quest now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Good to see you. Use this knowledge wisely, all of you. Seek myself or other cleric trainers out. Should you re reset your roles, purchase new role slots. Death to the dragons. I don't think I really need a new role at the moment, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, I think I can just hop down here. Ah, uh, yep, okay. Ah, I see. The high elves who marched against the tyrant Adraxius were consumed by the shade. Those that had stayed behind grieved for their loss. When the elves returned as immortal ascended, most, most rejoiced. Elves are long lived and loss of so many sundered the faith of many, who left the covenant in despair and sought to live among men in the city and towns of Matheosans and Eth. When the ascended elves returned, they called for all elves who wished to rejoin the covenant with the gods to return to Sanctum. Many settled here in the village outside the Beliska. Some elves felt enemies of this new covenant, this new status granted to the Guardian Elves, led by Prince Hylas that refused to join here in this holy city, instead remaining in the ancient Overwatch Deep, fighting their old enemies. While the island of Sanctum is ours by divine right, the lands beyond are in dispute with House Alphor. So many pilgrims that make the holy journey never leave.
Alrighty. We got something over here, too. Fact. All right, well, we already know that's going to fail because for future events, Orphiel does not die during the base game, anyways. <laughs> Theodore Circle. Your coin is always welcome. The City of Sanctum is one that promotes the peace that the faith and the vigil will bring. But our enemies surround this tiny beacon of hope, seeking to topple the Holy Temple and end the faith of the vigil as a means of destroying the Holy Guardian Ascended. We raise an army devoted crusaders to fight against these elemental invaders. The heretical, heretical defiance that seek to undermine our efforts to redeem this world. The forces of Sanctum are spread throughout the Old Kingdoms. We have recently sent armies from the Order of the Temple to Gloomwood to deal with the Goblin Menace. So is the campaign to free the heartland of Mafiosa in Stillmore. The Guardians depend upon incentives like you to protect the people of Teleria from the demons and monsters of the elements, and to defend the city of Sanctum from invasion. Gloomwood's actually the next zone we'll be going to after this one, so... That's the only other zone in this game that I've never quest through, so... I'll definitely be interested in it. When Bolem Gabat discovered this island rising out of the sea, he had a vision of a mighty temple to the vigil built on top of it. He went to the city of Port Sion and recruited the finest craftsmen from the dwarves and the elves and the Mathosians and brought them to this new island to build the sanctum of the vigil. They labored for a year and a day to create this most holy of temples. It was during the construction of the Bliska that tragedy befell Port Sion. The heretical machines of the defiance that burned this holy soul store and Source Stone opened a rift to the plane of death. Many who escaped journeyed here seeking sanctuary from the elemental invaders. They named the city Sanctum after the temple to the vigil and has become a shining beacon of peace. Peace and strength to the elves, dwarves, and Mathiosans who seek to redeem the world from the corruption of the dragons. Okay, we just have one more on that quest to talk to at least. I really w I do I really not have a sprint button? Like seriously. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like I really don't have a sprint button. Okay, I think the other spot we need is up there, so we need to... Actually, here's a spot down here. Part of our Secrets and Artifacts quest, I imagine. Looks like it's probably up on this thing. Alright, alright. So far, so good. We got the gold sellers keeping us company on the world chat. The gods of the vigil are mysteries. Since Solara's creation, they have at times co cooperated, at other, ti other times competed, and often worked at cross purposes. Since the Shade War, they have joined together as the vigil to protect the world and guide the guardians in their holy quest to redeem Teleria. Many think that the gods have a greater purpose for us than mere adventuring heroes. The threat of the elementals is great and threatens to overwhelm the kingdoms and city states of this world. But we mortals defeated 
in imprisoned the dragons themselves, about such a drastic step as creating an immortal saint like you. Some wish that the gods have a much grander plan, one that tests us here in Talaria. It will truly challenge us in lands and places yet to come. Sanctum is a holy city of peace and contemplation. But if you watch events carefully, they hint at dark days ahead. I believe that the gods are worried for us, that they fear the challenges we must face are much greater than these paltry invasions we have seen. So test yourself, Guardian, and grow powerful. We'll depend on you. Alright. Well, that quest is pretty much done. I better turn in some more of these quests before I start trying to do something else, really. Okay, so it looks like one of them is back here. Yeah, okay. Welcome to Sanctum, all of you. Stay here in Sanctum as long as you wish. We have need of crafters, scholars, and instructors to build the city into a shining beacon. As well as soldiers, battle mages, crusaders, and operatives to defend yourself, ourselves from the onslaught of the elemental invasions, mach machine machinations of the dragon cults, and the heresy of the defiance. Whatever the vigil's purpose in bringing you back to Claria, I'm honored to have met you. The dragons seek to corrupt us, resist their false lures, and we'll face them together in the final battle. What has happened to the Math Mafiosa? My beloved country is no more. While you defeated Regulus, and we were victorious, my beloved country was a casualty of that battle. They call the heart of the kingdom still more now. In a chronic land, was little of it, the beauty it once had. I love that it sent as many survivors as I could to safely in the city of Port Sion, until it, until it too fell to the rifts. Tectum is now our home, where we take back our lands the monsters and machine-born. But the people of Matheos endure. These lands were all once part of the kingdom. We have all shared culture, and our friends, the dwarves and elves, have also suffered since the rifts. Adversary creates a bond between people. The gods of the Vigil have shown me that we'll be victorious in this. Find your destiny. We fight to protect that which we love. I love you. I never thought to see you alive again. When we destroyed the Avatar of Regulus together, shattering his reign so he can have return, I feared you too had perished forever. It's apparent that the Vigil has a greater plan for you. You are not doing a dungeon. Before the shade took me, I was a sentinel of the gods. I wished to know the wisdom of the land from Tavriel, the, the, the love of the heart from Bariel Tan, the courage of the sword from Theodore, the community of the city from Barat, and the mystery, mystery of the sea from Thontic. My message helped to unify many people and unite them to fight, defy the tyrant king. The gods of the vigil brought me back and bid me continue to spread their message to all of Tularia. I have taken the title Pendark to represent my allegiance to the five who are one. Help to guide the clergy of the Vigil and teach the other guardians the meanings of the miracle of ascension. May you live a thousand years. Help what do you got for me here? I'm glad to get a chance to speak with you, all of you. We'll receive reports from an archaeologist in Moonshed Highlands who claims to have discovered strange new artifacts. I'm suspicious. It seems every week we are burdened by another Hanover Hill security, security theorist. But we also witnessed strange artifacts appearing and disappearing across the land. Examine one of these artifacts and speak to the archaeologist to verify his claims. What happened to the dwarves? The cities of the dwarves have fallen. Lord's Hall has short, shut its doors and assaulted by creatures of the plains, while Hammerfell fell to corruption from within. Our people are scattered, our culture lost. When the Shade came to our great dwells, we had thought ourselves safe. What army of magic could breach our walls? Then our great advances in crafting turned on us. Demons broke free from the bindings that forced them to toll within our machines. Our whole society was built upon evil. That most of us were unaware of this is small comfort. We have paid with the rest, the, the best of us. For now, Sanctum will be our home. Our people will grow strong as we rebuild the world side by side with the gods. This is how it should be. This is how we started as a people. Together, the Guardians will re redeem Talaria in great new golden age. The guardians will never break. So we do have that quest at the moment, we're, but we're going to go ahead and uh, not worry about that one at the moment. That's no higher zone that I want to go to at the moment. Are you here to help? You are now attuned to different polar limbs. The traveler smiles upon those souls that discover new places and broaden their horizons. To facilitate this, he gave us the ability to travel through the elemental plains, connect two desperate locations with Talaria. There are polar limbs all about Talaria. Find them and gain more favor of Thondic. 
Take these offerings to Annette Castral. She would very much appreciate it, and you would be able to experience the wonder of planar travel. Okay, so we need to go to Argent Glade. I mean... Sure, I guess. Years. I don't exactly have, like, a, uh... Good spot for that, regardless. Oh, wait, I was looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll go to Argent Glade. Greetings. Offerings for me, thank you. Why, it's exotic chocolate, a kind I've never tasted before. New experiences in Richard brought on us. Thank you, all of you, and may the vigil bless you. Alright. Now take me back. So we're slowly gaining some experience here, at least. What's this here? Let me see. Click that item. Then we also have a couple that were near the entrance to here, so let's go ahead and see if we can't find out where we need to go. Where do we need to go? This way, I think. Do we just head out? No, that's not correct either. Hmm. This way. Okay. So there's two quests over here, I believe. A pleasure. All of you, lately I've been having the scariest dream. The world is overrun by mechanical dogs and gooey beasts. You know what would straighten things out? A skilled straw and sniper. I will give you my 50 cal so you could go and make my dreams come true, but jammed with some strange object. So I'll give you that instead. Okay. Good luck. Are you ready? They'll never smell you Bring coming. The God bless you. Huh. So they actually gave me a companion pet. That's an interesting uh, companion for me. He's like the same size as me. Ah, good to see you. All of you, lately I've been having the strangest dream. My fellow Colormancers and I are adventuring in a strange new world. It's like a plane of cubes. It's beautiful and very fun, but what is it? I know it sounds strange, but you've got to believe me. Good luck. Great sun, an ascendant. I need to stop drinking so much Feywan. May the sun guide you. That's curious. What is this? Okay, so I gained a class and trove, huh? That's an interesting uh thing there. Let me also make sure I'm not missing any quests here. I'm actually missing one for dimensions, huh? I guess I'm not really too worried about that. Dimensions are something I'm not too interested at the moment in dealing with. Am I really already out of quest here? I don't think I would be. In any case, I still need to find, like, Whatever this last thing is. I'm pretty sure it's inside. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's inside this area. I'm gonna assume it's like at the upper top of it. I 
Oh, somebody's here. Level 39. I probably would see more people if I moved over to another uh, shard or whatever. I usually do do that, but I forgot about it when I turned it on. Okay, so it's off that way. So it has to be like in this pile of things going on here. Okay, maybe it's down a floor then. Okay, maybe it's down even further then. Aha, here we go. Now I have to go upwards, I believe. It's actually not a bad spot here. Not sure what's going on there. <laughs> Not up here. So is it down below one then? Yeah. Aha, here we go. Do you see anything you like? Thank you, all of you. I'll record these items in a moment. You may of course keep them for your own collections. This is quite the find you have brought me, all of you. Take this as a reward for your fastidious nature. Tell your friends. Okay, so I thought that was actually a bag we got, but apparently not. <laughs> so at this point, I think we've maybe gotten about everything here. We could do a little bit more of a look around real quick to make sure. But I think we've hit up majority of stuff. Oh, hey, another person's here. A little 45 person. Looks like we only have that one quest inside that is uh, not something for us to do in any case. Well, there is one here, apparently. Glory and honor. Oh, this is a dungeon one. I think if we pray here, I think we get a buff for a while.
Okay, increases unmounted movement speed by 15%. That's actually decent. I just wish it lasted longer than 10 minutes. Okay, I guess we have to head for the Wayward Thicket, which is... I think not that very far from... Yeah, okay. And these purple ones are like job quests, so I'm not too interested in those. The blue ones, I'm not sure on what that is. Okay, that's PvP, okay. We got dens. Wait, we're thicket, we're here. Pretty sure this is the area we've been in before, hasn't it? Seems like it to me, but whatever. Wisdom and life. Come, seeker, to learn the ways and the will of the forest. Many have sought my counsel, and I shall help you as I help them. Be forewarned, this vision quest will be fraught with danger. Others have failed, finding death instead of answers. Prepare yourself. For the ritual you will undergo, we need the unfocused eyes of Mossback Shamblers from Felcher's Beach to the north. They are a rare find. The eye must be unfocused at exactly the moment of death to be useful for your vision quest. Maris would not ask me to aid you in a vision quest if you're incapable of seeing the truth, but you must first help create the vision draw. It's a mixture of special furs and powders. Bring me Lockflower Sprigs and Grittenheld Pelopods. Journey well. It looks like we're just heading off this way to a beach, as far as I understand. Some more unusual deer. Come here, you. I'm able to slap these things, so... Really, this feels so much different compared to my marksman or whatever it was called. Alright, so we already got that stuff. But we still need more of the flowers around. Well, we got one of the things in here we need to fight. Oh, this guy seems to have a little bit more uh, power to him.
Okay, so we're gonna be doing some swimming. Okay, I guess we're not gonna be able to just beat them to death the easy way. Gonna have to do it underwater where we're timed. Now, we have a massive amount of breath apparently, so. Companion does not like to uh, swim, it seems like. <laughs> okay, we got that done already. So now we just have to keep on killing these guys and getting our uh, eyes. I really want to see if I can get all the eyes before I run out of breath. We're about the halfway point of the breath, and we need two more eyes, so I think we'll be able to do it. Okay, we just need one more. You there. You're my last victim. And there we go. We were able to manage... We got five of the eyes without having to go up for air even once. I still have that uh, movement speed buff. I just now realized. <laughs> that certainly gave us a good bit of experience, too. We're about to get even more. Good, these unfocused eyes are perfect. I'll begin brewing the vision draught. Prepare yourself, out of you, for soon you'll be stepped between the trees and see what the future has in store with you. Uh, maybe the buckler, I don't know. Ah, uh, some of these lock flowers, sprigs, and grit shell. Theopods. The more pungent the ingredients, the more effective they'll be in the med meditative potion. It'll be ready soon. Your subsequent sub trance will be answering all your questions. I prepare the regions, distill their essence, and mix them into a tonic that will open your mind to the echoing whispers of the forest. However, I can only provide you the means to enter a trance. You'll need to speak with Maris for your final preparations. Good luck. All right. So you have to go all the way back to Sanctum, huh? <laughs> not what I was expecting. Ah yes, this tonic of meditation is potent indeed. It is certain to open your eyes to the truths of this forest. Now I must prepare you for what you may see. For centuries, Prince Hylas Elfor led the fight against the Wonton. Now that his life has become the conflict, he claims to protect this forest, it will instead destroy it. Take the tonic of meditation to the spirit guide to see the outcome of this folly. Journey well. Okay, let's see where this is gonna lead us.
I have much to show you, all of you, but you must be pure of heart and powerful of spirit to withstand the trauma of prophecy. It is time to see what it is and what it may be. I will guide you along the path, but you must have faith, and your footsteps must be sure. Protect the vigils chosen, you'll emerge unscathed. You must not do this, Hylas. All of Talara will hunt you down. It is too late to go back. You and the Guardians have forsaken the forest. Nature is life itself. I have made my choice. It is never too late. Rejoin the High Elf Council in Sanctum. Welcome the Vigil into your heart and join hands with the Guardians. The gods never lifted a finger for me. I will defeat my enemies with the power of Greenscale, Dragon of the Wilds, not false gods. Oh. I won't be to interfere. This is where you end. My reign begins. Oh, she's actually taking some considerable damage. Yeah. The vigil answered my prayers. Thank you. All right, well, we saw a prophecy, but I guess, I don't know if that was prophecy, seeing the future, or if that was something we actually interacted with and stopped. I'm confused on that. Greetings. Did the spirit guide show you the truth, I love you? This is bad news indeed. To imagine Hylas using the forest in hostility against the Guardians is appalling. If this is true, Talari is in bright peril. In your vision, Hylas summoned creatures from the Plane of Life to, to unleash upon Shala Starhearth, his old friend and our most beloved priestess. Will this vision come to pass? Tristan Elicourt has experience with such beings. Perhaps he can help us still in the truth. Good luck. Okay, it looks like we're all going on another adventure outwards. I guess we'll go ahead and take that. And we'll put on these new pants. Because why not? May as well use these scrolls, because really, outside of like the first or second zone, it's, they're not going to really have much use after that, I don't think. Okay, let me see where we're heading exactly. Oh, we're actually heading up to... Yeah, I'll go ahead and just go up this way, because... I'd have to go all the way back inside the main building in Sanctum to use the portal in that way. And I'm just not interested at the moment. While we're here, we may as well, uh... Change to deep wood, because why not? Well, actually, I probably will stop soon, so I guess I don't know why I did that. Are you here to help? Your vision confirms my own fears. The fairies have grown agitated as if their nefarious plans were close to realization. Hylias must be involved. Let's uncover the session that has brought, that has tempted House Alfor from the vigil and brought shame to my bloodline. The Fae steal children in the night and torture mortals for amusement. The worst is Machium, the twisted court of Fae Lord Twill. To learn what Hylas is planning with the Fae, we must kill Macrum to draw Chill's attention. The Elf will carry Fae Stone signets that can be used to locate this monster. This place used to be a tranquil grove where we could make offerings to travel in peace, but the invasion of the Fae changed all that. 
Soon after arriving here, the fairies began committing foul acts in the name of their false god, the life dragon Grimscale. This hedge maze itself was one of their acts of malice. As we sent in rangers to investigate their activities, the fairies raised hedgerows out of the ground and killed many of our men. We fear for the lives of the surviving rangers, but there is more at the stake right now. We must root out these devious savages before Greensdale gains further influence in Silverwood. Good luck. Are you here to help? Wispy may look like harmless firebugs, but they shine with a foul light, contaminating the woods with their poisonous aura. The fairies keep them by their side in Hedgerow Court, and neither extinguish husk to further my study of planar magic. May you live a thousand years. Alright, so we can go ahead and just do both of these, I guess. <laughs> Amber. Oh, we got a Carter's quest. And we actually have like full on stuff to do here. I get the West Wizard quest done. I'm about to get to level 15 anyways. I wanted to get to at least level 15 before I stopped. Ooh, okay. Actually, eh. It's a two-handed one, so I'm not interested. Oh, I didn't even see what I spent my soul points on. <laughs> Boggling Merchant, what do you got here? Oh, that's actually a decent helm. I will take the I will take the helm. Kind of a weird helmet, but you know. Oh yeah, I don't want to forget about that. I'm gonna just find one more wisp and then kill that. And then I think I'll end the video there. Because I don't want to get too far in this area, I just don't want to stop the moment. There's no reason for me not to complete the wisp quest, because I know I can find another one around here somewhere. Yep, there's one. Alright, let's go ahead and return this one for the moment. Greetings. These amers look good, Cleric. Hopefully they'll help us discern more about the planar magics that have enthralled the Elf War. Super will never fall as long as there are those who are will who will who will fight. Okay. All threats are fleeting. We got a new belt, very nice. And then, 
next time we will continue on into this Fae Forest Grove thing. So see you then.